Hey there, my name is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. If you don't know what we do, stick around or jump to the end of the video to learn about us and how you can get some free products. Now, back to the topic of the day. If you purchase a PDF with the license to edit or a PowerPoint template, but you don't have the right software to edit it in, you can always turn to Canva. And the best thing is you do not need a paid account to use this feature. If you don't already have an account, click the link in the description area below to sign up. It is 100% free. Before I go further, there are a few things you must know. The first is fonts. Your file may use different fonts that are not available in Canva. What it will do is replace those fonts with a default. So if your file looks very different, that's the biggest reason why. Thankfully, that can easily be fixed, and I'll show you here in a minute. The other thing is editability. Not every item in the PDF will be editable. However, after uploading a lot of PDF files in the past two years, most of the time I would say the text is editable. And that to me is the most important part. All right, let's get to the demo. Once you've signed up and you're logged in, you can either click create a design and then import file, or you can just click the upload button here on the main banner. From here, you can either drag or drop the files that you need, and that's what I'm going to do here, or you can click choose the files and it will ask you where you want to upload the file from. So I'm going to drop this file in here. Once you do that, it looks like nothing's happening, right? But there is actually. If you go to your projects right here, it will show you the recent upload. From here, you simply click on it to open the file. When you upload a PDF file or even a PowerPoint file, it will always ask you for some feedback here. Now, personally, I believe it's good to give them some response so they can make this better and perhaps more accurate in the future. But it's not necessary and you can simply close it. Now you can begin editing. Like I mentioned earlier, the fonts are not the font in the original document, and that's fine. If you have Canva Pro, you can upload your own fonts to use. If you're staying with a free account, all you need to do is choose a font is similar to the one that is used in the original file or you can select one that you like. I'm going to select a font that I like here. Let's go with that. And just keep in mind that as you change fonts, because the fonts have different spacing, it will change some of this here and you may have to expand the text box. Pay attention to this below here. Once you select a font that you like to implement, Canva will ask you if you want to change all the Open Sans Condensed to the new font over here. I'm just going to click yes. And now it has changed all the fonts that have the similar one to that. And suppose I'm not happy with it, you can just click undo and it will go back to what it was. And you also want to undo again because remember, this is the first step and the rest are the second steps. Now let's look at the design elements. If you remember, not every item is editable. Like here, it seems like this design here is a whole of its own. And down here, this item here, I can edit the color. For the items that are completely 
not editable, that means it is imported as a photo, you have to decide if you want to find a similar background to use or a similar image to use or simply leave it. However, here's the good news if you purchase one of our products. In our products, we have inside the InDesign Affinity Publisher file, you will find a folder named Links. And in this Links folder are all the images that we used in the design. You can upload these separately and hope that it, you might get a better result. So for example, if I want these to be editable, but it isn't here, I can just delete this and I'm going to drag and drop into here and upload it. And then I'll select that. I mean, enlarge that. And then I can change the color right here and change it to something completely different if I want to. And then I'll add maybe a different kind of background. That's where some of your own designing skills might come into play there. So supposing I look at this and perhaps I want to change the color of these here. When I select a different color, say this, again, the nice thing about Canva, just like for the fonts, it will ask if I want to change anything that matches that color to this blue that I selected. I'm going to say yes, but I'm also taking a little chance because sometimes it may change colors that I have no intention of changing. But you have to start somewhere. So I'm going to click change all. And it will say color change across all pages. And now I will go and look at these pages and see if only the items I want to change are changed. This looks like it and we are good. And the same thing for here. I can do that too. Change that. And then it will ask anything matching that color. Sure. Let me go ahead and change all. And now you will see that the bottom color has also changed. You just have to be careful with this option. But again, the nice thing is you can always hit undo if that's not what you intend to do. This is how easy it is to edit a PDF in Canva. You can also do the same process with a PowerPoint file. Let me show you here. I'm going to go back to home, upload, choose files. I'm going to select PowerPoint file from one of our products and open. And then it says the same importing your file, click view. And down here, you will see that it's uploading. However, through my experience uploading both Canva and PowerPoint files, Canva just doesn't do as good a job converting PowerPoint as it does for PDF. Let's go ahead and open this and maybe you'll see what I mean. This right here, it didn't fully convert the way I wanted it to. When I upload the PDF, my results are definitely much better than this. The nice thing, however, is it did import the tables as a table. Just keep that in mind. Or you can upload both. And for example, these calendars, I prefer them to be in tables anyway. You simply copy and paste this into the PDF import, especially when you buy one of our products because you get both versions. But I just wanted you to know that uploading PowerPoint files is also possible. Now, if you stayed to the end to learn about us, thank you. We are a team of designers and writers who create beautiful yet useful workbooks and journal designs so you can publish them as your own or use them as a template. Check out some of our free products. Go to thriveanywhere.com and click the free link on the top of the page. you also find a link to our website in the descriptions below. That's all from me this time. 
Remember to like the video to help us help more people and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.